Toxicology is the investigation of drugs and poisons. The drugs may be those prescribed by a doctor or they may be illicit drugs. Chromatography is one of the methods used to show metabolites of drugs of abuse in urine. The position and colour of the spot on the paper chromatogram here can be compared to known standards and the reference library of cards. Other types of chromatography are also used in toxicology. Chromatography columns are often used with pumps and other types of onboard computer software to analyse peaks at certain time intervals, which may indicate the presence of certain drug metabolites. Chromatography can also be used to investigate inherited metabolic disease. Amino acid separation is achieved by thin layer chromatography and patient samples are compared to reference samples. This is an established technique. However, organic acid analysis is more complex and requires a more sophisticated piece of equipment. Organic acid analysis involves solvent extraction and a modification process to enable the separation of a complex mixture of compounds by gas chromatography and their subsequent identification by mass spectrometry. In both investigations, an abnormal pattern may provide a diagnosis or indicate further investigations to facilitate a diagnosis at a later date. All newborn babies are screened for three conditions. Phenylalanine or PKU, hypothyroidism and sickle cell disease. Early treatment is very effective in these conditions. A small volume of blood is collected from the heel of the baby and spotted onto the sample card. Discs will be punched from the blood spots for each test. To screen for PKU, the disc is diluted in saline in a cup and a small volume drawn into the system by a pump. Reagents are also pumped and mixed with the sample stream to give a reaction. This produces a signal for each sample. This signal is displayed as a peak. The height of the peak is a measure of the concentration of the amino acid phenylalanine which is increased in PKU. The paper trace records these peaks. The larger peaks are from babies with PKU and the much smaller peaks are from unaffected newborn babies. Blood discs are automatically punched into the well of a plastic plate for the two other tests. One plate is used to test for thyroid disease, the other for sickle cell screening. For sickle cell screening, diluted blood spots are loaded on an automated chromatography system. Blood spots are pumped down a column, which separates the haemoglobin fractions in each sample. A characteristic pattern of peaks is produced in newborns. A small peak on the right of this control sample is haemoglobin S, present in sickle cell disease. In modern clinical biochemistry laboratories, there are now also opportunities to carry out genetic work which uses DNA as the sample. This work is done using very small samples, which are multiplied millions of times using the polymerase chain reaction in machines called thermal cyclers. These multiplied samples are then analysed for their differences. This person here has, remember, two chromosomes. One chromosome carries a normal copy, and that's the top band, and the other chromosome carries the variant copy, that's the bottom band, and I think that's actually one of the best things about molecular work, is that it is elegant, and it is clean, beautiful science, and I just love it. <laughs>
This brings us to the end of our presentation about the work of a clinical biochemistry laboratory. There is a wide range of careers within the laboratory, but you do not necessarily need a degree. Please see the contact details option on the menu of this DVD.